Here's what's making news now around Indiana, brought to you by your Indiana Pacers. Well, the latest school to add a telehealth clinic is in the Greene County community of Worthington. White River Valley Elementary School officially opened the clinic this week, which will connect students and staff to services from Greene County General Hospital and its My Clinic network. An Eastern Indiana casket manufacturer a manufacturing plant is closing. The Palladium Item in Richmond reports production at the Matthews Aurora Funeral Solutions Facility, which employs about 200, will end next year. And renovations are on the way to Edinburgh Premium Outlets with plans announced by Indianapolis-based Simon Property Group. Construction on the multi-million dollar facelift, which includes new signage and a food truck plaza, is set to begin this fall. Well, Batesville Tool and Die began some 40 years ago with about six employees. Today, the precision metal stamping manufacturer employs some 450 workers in Indiana and nearly 1,000 workers in total. The auto parts supplier has been putting a big focus in recent years on a big issue in Indiana, workforce development. And for more on that, let's turn now to CEO Jody Fletterman. And Jody, as always, welcome to the program. Thank you. Uh, I, I think Batesville Tool and Die is, is a quintessential Indiana success story. It really is. Started again 40 years ago. Uh, to talk about how that, because your dad started the company. Talk about how it all started. Well, my dad started the company. He was working at a similar type manufacturer and decided he wanted to start a company in his hometown. He was from Batesville. Uh, you know, he met my mom in Batesville. Uh, so uh, that's where he wanted to get back to. So he started the business and he brought a couple guys with him and uh, one thing led to another, and, you know, here we are. Yeah, here we are 40 years later, and a major operation, a major manufacturer in our state. Uh, 450 employees in Batesville. You have plants in several other U.S. locations, 1,000 workers uh, in total. Talk about uh, the business, uh, big tier one auto parts supplier. So we are uh, mostly an automotive manufacturer. We make parts mostly for automobiles. That could be tier one. About 20% uh, of our sales are tier one, which means we supply directly to the car plants. Mm -hmm. uh, we'll supply tier one to Honda, to Nissan, to General Motors mm -hmm. uh, from several of our facilities. And then we also do a lot of tier two work, which we're selling to the Auto Leaves, the yeah. Bosches, the Cummins, those yeah. guys, and they will go to their systems. Uh, all told, you know, we are pushing 180 to $185 million in sales, which is a lot of parts. <laughs> yeah, that's a, that's a lot of parts, a big number in a big manufacturing state. What do you think has really been a key driver over these 40 years? Uh, you know, the company started with Delphi, I think was a big uh, customer, one customer. Now you have all the customers you mentioned and more. What's been really driving it? Well, you know, I'd like to say it's been great planning, but some of it's just been just good luck too. You know, we settled, decided to have the business in a state uh, that's very manufacturing pro, mm -hmm. very business pro, so there's been a lot of business attraction. You know, the wave of the automakers coming to the United States, we're right in the middle of it. We didn't have to move there. Mm -hmm. We were already there, and it's just, it, it happened all the way around us. You know, there's, there's plants in Indianapolis, there's plants in Greensburg, there's mm -hmm. plants in Marysville, Ohio, there's plants in Tennessee. Mm -hmm. So it, it just kind of exploded around us, and we were in the middle of it, and we took advantage of it, mm -hmm. and then we've seen a lot of opportunity and growth from that. Workforce uh, and finding quality workers is a, a challenge for everyone in manufacturing and lots of industries. You've been very proactive mm -hmm. uh, with your skill-up program, with a partnership with Batesville High School and Ivy Tech. Talk about those efforts and why they're important. So we're spending a, a big... Uh, thing that we're doing this year is skilling up our current workforce because uh, we need them to be more uh, capable and be able to do more things uh, and because we want to pay them more money and we want to get more done. Mm -hmm. uh, so we've embarked on a really large program that a pay for skills program and an achieve your degree program with uh, in conjunction with Ivy Tech that they can take classes at Ivy Tech. We'll pay for all the classes if they, if they pass them. And every job in our plant is gonna be able to have a industry recognized certification level all the way up to an associate's degree. Wow. Big investment to address a, a big investment. issue uh, for sure. Jody Fletterman is uh, CEO at uh, Batesville Tool and Die celebrating 40 years in business, a real Indiana success story. And Jody, as always, thanks and congratulations. Thank you very much. All right.